Hi and welcome to All Hands on Tech. Today I'm here with Steve from Milwaukee Tool and we're going to talk about TIC and the capabilities of Bluetooth technology. So before we get into TIC, Steve, do you mind just telling me the history of OneKey? It's a tool management system. Whether we're talking about connecting to our OneKey enabled tools and being able to configure or track them, or just manage a simple list of tooling and equipment for a contractor, kind of your one-stop shop to be able to do all those things. So I know TIC and OneKey, they kind of talk to each other and you use TIC through the OneKey app. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the thought process behind TIC and why it was created? Yeah, so a stupid, simple product. It's a, a little hard-cased Bluetooth antenna mm -hmm. that's advertising out and pinging off of phones. Uh, this all came from our OneKey technology. So we were looking at connected tools and really started investing heavily in this about four years ago, putting okay. these into impact drivers, saws, lights, and some of our high force uh, hydraulic tools. Mm -hmm. What we found out along the way was that in addition to all the cool things we could do in the tools, what we could also do with this Bluetooth technology is ping off of a phone and update a tool's location. So what we're doing, uh, just for your reference on size, this is the tick. Okay. And what this does, you, you got these little two winglets here, you can rivet this on, you can glue it, screw it down to something, uh, something like even this toolbox here. And I can get uh, tracking for uh, this bag, where I left it, where I last saw it, uh, and be able to go quickly recover that product if it does uh, get lost or go missing. So how exactly can it be used? I mean, I see you guys have a toolbox, but is it also meant for individual tools? Or what is kind of the purpose um, of using it Obviously, we're not going to put it on one key enable tools already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So those already have the technology built into them, and you can see the size difference. I mean, something like this, if you're trying to squirrel it away on a drill or an impact, mm -hmm. uh, not really a good place to get something of this size. But if we're talking about a gang box, mm -hmm. uh, a ladder, ladders are actually the second most common thing that are tracked inside oh. of one key. Uh, there's a lot of cool places that you can tuck this away where mm -hmm. no one would even know it was there. A nice, mm -hmm. discreet way to be able to track that product. Um, so the idea is uh, on your bigger type equipment, mm -hmm. um, welders, generators, ladders, tool chests, uh, you can put on this product and then you get your tracking the same way it would work for the one key enabled tools on any other product. Okay. What is the range of that? Uh, so this thing, we talk about a hundred foot range. Okay. And when we're saying a hundred foot, that's job site tested. Okay. Uh, so what that means is if you have it in the back of a truck mm -hmm. or uh, on a tool that's inside of a steel storage chest, mm -hmm. we're gonna get a hundred feet out of that. When we put okay. this thing in open air, uh, that range go. we stopped testing at about 600 feet. Oh, wow. Uh, so open air gets a lot of range. But the really cool thing is, it's not just relying on that one person, right? So okay. we have 110,000 downloads of the app uh, mm -hmm. right now, and all 110,000 people are helping you track your stuff. Uh, oh, wow. So if you, yeah, if you have the tick on something that you own, mm -hmm. and somebody's walking down the street with the one key app, they can actually update a location just for you. Um, do you have any examples of how it's been used? I know it just kind of shipped out, mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure you guys had clients on uh, beta testing. Do you have any examples of how maybe like somebody found a tool chest that they had misplaced or didn't know which side it was on? Yeah, so I can actually do you one better. Uh, okay. We were able to recover an entire truck for somebody. Uh, this happened uh, last December, okay. and basically uh, this person only had a couple of one key enabled tools in their, in their vehicle. Mm -hmm and he was at a gas station, he left the keys in the ignition mm -hmm. uh, and was going to throw some stuff away and while he was doing that, somebody jumped in the truck and stole it. So Jeez. that's the truck gone, it's about $25,000 worth of equipment. He remembered he had the one key app and he marked his tools as missing mm -hmm. and about an hour later he got a ping on the first tool. So he was able to track mm -hmm. that down to a pawn shop recover about $5,000 worth of product there. So it wasn't just the drill, it was right. a ladder and a couple other things. And the second one, they actually tracked it down to a garage. And not only did they recover his vehicle and the rest of his mm -hmm. product, uh, but they actually broke up a car theft ring that had been going on in the Denver area for about six months. Oh my uh, gosh. So you talk about uh, a little investment that gets you a big return. Yeah. Uh, just that insurance right there. And that's the instance of the whole thing working as good as it mm -hmm. possibly can, right? You had the truck stolen. Mm -hmm. This guy wasn't near it when it pinged that it had been right. found. So somebody else with the one key app happened by this garage mm -hmm. um, and let him know that it was, it was found. That's and we get so stories cool. like that probably two times a month, I would think. Yeah, once every couple yeah. weeks. I guess you don't want to hear stories like that, but it's good that you yeah. can like find it. You, know, yeah, you don't absolutely. want to ever hear about anything yeah. bad like that happening. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Well, thank you, Steve. And thank you guys for tuning in to All Hands on Tech. We'll catch you next time. 
click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.